What is up, Watchers? Magnus here. Today, we're gonna continue on with Season 6666 <laughs> Years Advent of the Dark Mage. So, welcome. Before we begin, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, so hit the algorithm. Most importantly, notifications. Put all not notifications on so you don't miss a little bit, so you know when I'm streaming. <sighs> don't forget all the notifications. If you don't get notifications on YouTube, you'll get them on Discord. Same channel, Twitch, also in the description. Blah 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 blah. Sub to Shmail, Cyrix. Ripping, Tony, Young Will, MD. Let's go. There you are, okay? Hi, sister. What's up? Wait, that's his sister? There's going to be a chapter wide announcement at the chapel. The chapel? Okay, I will be there in a bit. Just gotta get down with my chores. So, Tony. May thy will not. May thy will not be done. Okay. If you say so. So, be okay. This way, Rick, eh? Why are you sitting next to my sister, Ben? Huh? I was when I escorted her to the chapel. Okay, your duty is over now. Go away. <laughs> What's with the sudden gathering anyways? Wish I knew. I don't know, maybe, maybe there was another calling. Are you late? No. It's a pretty That would be awesome. Has everyone been at peace? Uh, yes. I bring wonderful news to the congregation. Congregation to the congregation. <laughs> Today. Our God has given yet another divine message. He wants more chimeras. He was what? Divine message? Could that mean? Someone has been chosen like Shino! <laughs> you presume correctly. Our Lord Senate has chosen another one of your children to be a devout priest. <laughs> These dumb children have no idea about what it means to be chosen. After all, what a blessing it is for a lowly orphan to be an ingredient of the mighty Chimera. Have you seen this before? Oh, that's cool. Blessing indeed. Rejoice in fate. Everyone, please calm down. Our Lord Senate has chosen. None other than you, Ricky. <gasps> Me? Say it in so. You are the next ingredient for the Chimera. Oh, did I say that? I'm a what now? Oh, did I say that out loud? I mean, you are the most sacred ones among us. Yes, that's what I mean. The rain seems to be dying down. Yes, mother. I think the sun will come up soon. Having a tea time on a rainy day like this feels quite pleasant. How about you, Jamie? <laughs> I love the smell of petrichor and it is even better to spend time with you, mother! Earth, Earth is scent produced when rain falls and dries so well. Okay. Oh, my dear baby, you bring a smile to mommy's face with your lovely manner of speech. Anyone here? My apologies for the interruption, my lady and young master. There is a visitor for young master. A visitor? I'm a prince. Who that, could that be? Yes, young master. A peasant kid has come claiming to be a friend. But I don't have friends. Should I send him away? Yeah, throw him in the... <laughs> throw him in the dungeons. In the what? Wait, we don't have dungeons? Uh, in the cells? We don't have cells either, master. Fine, I'll go over it. Ask him. Peasant kid and not an... A peasant kid and not of a noble household. Kind of weird. Man, it's not Rebecca or Ash. Who would dare claim to be a friend of mine? <laughs> oh, wait. I think I know who it is. Bring him in. Yes, young master. <laughs> Hello, it, it is an honor. How wonderful to have a friend of my boy over. Nice to meet you. I knew it. Who said it's my friend? We're not friends. Him and his obsession with being friends with me. What is your name? It's Ricky, ma'am. Where do you live, Ricky? I live in the orphanage run by the order of the fate in Senate. I see. How did you get to become friends with Jamie? Oh, that! Yeah, yeah, I'll, I would also like to know how we became friends. I was running an errand on the streets at night. Uh, I, I want to hang out with Ricky. Why don't you head inside first, mother? 
Oh, how cute. He must be embarrassed to show his sweet side in front of his friend. Yeah, my boy is growing so much. Sweet side? Like he has one. Should better not find out or else I will end up being punished. Yeah, out in the night? Yeah. Punishment <laughs> equals rounds of hugs, kisses, and sharing the bed. Oh, no. Okay. I'll leave you two alone now. Time for goodbye, kiss for mommy. Runs into bigger obstacle. <laughs> no. Can't. Damn it, I have no choice. Kizzy, uh, ah, what? Have a wonderful time. Okay, whatever. S thank you, ma'am. If you tell anyone, I'll kill you. <laughs> Your mother must love you a great deal. Too much. Too much. Way too much. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Forget about my family. I brought you here, peasant. <laughs> All right, I have something to tell you. I received a calling. And I will be departing heist soon. So I came to say goodbye, Jamie. What? Where? Why? Uh. No signs of a suspicious character, let alone a chimera paladin. Uh. I've closed the monitor the order for a few days since that day now. But to no avail. How can I not have made any moves? Goodbye. Huh? That boy. I've seen him before. What? Wait. It's you old sir. <laughs> old? <laughs> How about just sir, eh? Ah, uh, okay, sir. Old sir. Who calls people old? You came here to see Jamie. Yeah. Also, how does he look old? <laughs> it was great to see you. I wanted to tell you this too. What? I received a calling from Lord Senate. I'm going to become father. I mean, <clears throat> I'm going to become a priest. What? I was chosen! I'll be departing for the headquarters tomorrow morning. They will castrate me in the morning as well before I leave. I mean, I see. So, this is how they've been deceiving the orphans. How can followers of a divine god pull dirty tricks like this? Sup, Mama? How can they treat the lives of young children with such contempt? I am happy for you. That is great news! Can you tell me where they're taking you? I'm sure you will make a good priest. Is he putting something on his head? Like a tracker or some kind? Leaving some energy that he can follow? Thank you. When I grow up, I'm going to help other people just like you. I will com come for a visit sometime. Yeah, sure. See you then, kid. You heard him, right? Boom. Tomorrow morning. We go after the carriage Ricky gets on. I'll show you what tr true punishment feels like, you scoundrels. Thank you, everyone, for seeing me off. I will become a brother and, a and pay a visit. I will become a brother and pay a visit. What? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Anna. I will take good care of her. Oh, you will, will ya? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You're a true friend. Friend, yeah. Friend. Don't worry about me and focus on the priesthood, okay? Anna. The brothers and sisters are here to help you. Eh, I feel like he has other motives. So stay healthy and eat well, even if I'm not around. I promise. It won't be long. I will write you whenever I can. Yes, you promised. I will be waiting for you here. I hope nothing but the best I hope nothing but the best for you, big brother. Big brother. Broader. There we go. Let's go. Follow him. Hmm. Some cultivation, eh? So he's on his way. Now shall I begin? Begin? <laughs> Track down the dark mana imbued within. Oh, did he put mana within him? So he did it, but not the paladin. Interesting. Interesting. As expected, I can trace the Dark Mana back to the Order of the f of the Fate in the Senate. There are three requirements in order to create a Chimera using the Carial Power. First. 
the victim to be used as the ingredient. Next, the chimera maker that will conduct experiments. So, but that, and lastly, a higher ranking priest bestowed of vicarial power. Speaking of which, there is only one high ranking priest in the area. The Bishop of Senate. I can leave Lars and the Knights to take care of the lab on their own. Well, I have a meeting. Well, I have a meeting with the Bishop. Checkmate. <laughs> This is gonna be fun. The time has come. <laughs> An orphan boy takes the path to blessed paladinhood. But God does not grant such blessings without your perseverance. Come, my child. Time for you to face the despair and sufferings. <gasps> You mean your you mean you mean your despair and sufferings? What? <gasps> Got you. Got you. Who would dare to interrupt the holy ritual? I wouldn't exactly call this operation holy, you psychopath. <laughs> A dark mage. I see now. So you were the one that slew the paladin. I will teach you a lesson for interfering with God's work. God's work? Face the divine judgment. Battle Sanctuary. Unlimited. <laughs> oh. The power of a priest is drastically buffed within a sanctuary protected by God. The Battle Sanctuary cast by a bishop, Subterry, would grant him enough power to crush boulders with his bare hands. I have a ritual to complete, so I'll make this short. I'll shatter you to pieces. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> Die. Die and become an ingredient for the mighty Chimera. Yeah, that's not gonna kill him. Is this all you've got? What? <laughs> the mighty priest can't even scratch me. What the? This is pathetic. How can you command dark magic within the sanctuary? Sanctuary? I created this. Look around you. And it's all, and it's just a feeble imitation uh, at best. Ugh. The sanctuary is being consumed by darkness. No, no way. It can't be. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. Boom. <gasps> this isn't even a fair fight, is it? <laughs> I have lots of questions that I was hoping you'd answer for me. You think I will actually answer your questions? Oh, you will! You will! <laughs> Trust me, you will. Just involuntarily. <laughs> Time to examine your brain. <laughs> Damn, did you like dig into his brain? Lincoln, you little piece of trash. Oh no, what the hell is taking him so long? Oh damn. I've been waiting for hours now. He has some kind of cancer. I, I will check with him at once. Oh, I guess he's not checking with him. I already lost my patience. Yeah, but who's gonna ask him now? Damn it. What have you been doing this whole time? Just standing there? Huh? What's the sound? Don't tell me! Our cover's been blown. I feel breezes coming from the back of the shelf. There has to be something behind this. Oh. Tomorrow is my math exam still. I'm watching your stream. <laughs> oh my god, MD. Yeah, you need, you need to study. How come this one book doesn't have any dust on it, unlike others? 
Secret entrance. I feel ominous energy suddenly. What? I'm loving the area. Are you late? Eh, like 50 minutes. Something touch. We better be on our go. Ah! Boom. Was that a chain? Ah! Such strength. Subtitle. Ah! What even are you fighting? Lars! I'm fine. And it looks like we've hit the jackpot. Damn. Frankenstein. Ah, uh, it was not a chain. That's a chimera. That is a chimera? Looks a bit different, but yeah. Some kind of goblin creature. Some kind of some kind. Didn't study s you haven't studied anything? Damn it. That's not good. I am on chapter 24 now. Create a powerful army regardless of the method. I see. That's the message you received from your god. That, that is correct. Go to the Earl's palace at once and report what you just said. Yes, sir. Wait. Just in case. Yeah. Just in case. Go now. What did he do? I strengthened the brain control spell. Okay. Brainwashing. This way he would not speak of my existence. No. Wait! Oh, you're gonna change into him. Hm. What a splendid idea this is. God damn it! Four chimeras have been destroyed already! Lincoln, you bastard, was taking so long. It's not like I can leave the experiment unattended and get rid of them myself. Huh? It's a shame that I have to put this one to the test so early. This should take care of the intruders. Hmm, you useless piece of garbage. Where the hell is this guy? When it's the one with the core part and the divine power which are absolutely necessary. The nucleus. I can't finish a chimera without it. Sorry it took me so long. There we go. Boom. Lincoln, where the hell have you... What the... What the hell happened to you? I got attacked by an intruder. It took me some time to finish him off. An intruder attacked you? I'm inclined to think it was the same scum that destroyed the Chimera Paladin, as it was too powerful to capture alive. Damn it. I didn't expect the intruders upstairs to have accomplices. I cannot allow any more interferences to my experiment. The core part, where is the nucleus? You said there were more intruders, we should deal with them first. I already sent one of my best creations to dispatch them. Just give me the core part so I can finish my job. One of his best creations, what kind of creature can it be? Finally. I can finally complete my best piece of work yet. Oh, how long have I been waiting for this moment? I cannot fathom how powerful this one will be. Any expectations? Lincoln. This guy sure talks a lot. For a Chimera Maker, uh, I expect it to be more powerful than the Chimera Paladin at the very least. How boring. You are stating the obvious. Time for the finishing touches. Oh yes. This is it. The most powerful Chimera just yet. <laughs> Aren't you excited, Lincoln? Well... Yeah. What a crazy psychopath. <laughs> You are not Lincoln. What? What are you talking about? Of course it's me. <laughs> like Lincoln would be jumping out of joy right now. Oh my god, this is amazing! It's, eh, probably gonna be stronger than that last paladin. Damn it, was I supposed to be passionate about his re sick research? You think I am a fool? Show yourself. <sighs> that was the last of them. 
Let's go. Let's go, sir. Huh? Whoa! Did that thing just murder at least one of them? So I took out one behind him, right? Or is that just a sound? Nope, that's not. Ah! Oh. Let go of him! That's just the arm. This one. Eh, looks kind of similar to the other ones. It's far stronger than the ones before. Maybe it's bigger. It's like a hobgoblin instead of a normal goblin. Or a goblin lord. Ugh. It's too narrow here to take a proper swing at it. I need more space maneuver. Oh, gotta get out of here. Blade of Judgment. Never bring a sword into a cave with goblins, just saying. Bring daggers. <laughs> of course, Larwin. I got, I got because of work, work problems. What is it? Huh? No damage, eh? You gotta go. Oh, see another time, Yoki. No, I got caught off guard. It's too late to dodge the attack. Is this it for me? Ah, what? Ah! Are you alright, sir? We should retreat and re strategize. Okay, now let's get, a get him out. Uh, we'll leave without him. Yeah, we'll leave without him. Missed that. What? We were, we were ordered to provide support and help you achieve the goal. We don't do anything that gets in the way. I will grab the beast's attention. Retreat while it's occupied. Come on, sir. Fighting that beast alone is a suicide mission. Yes. I know, but we are the knights that serve the Earl. We make choices, sometimes undesirable ones, in order to bring out the best results in favor of the Weltons. Stop solo. Obedience without question to their master. That is the sole purpose of their existence. They clear out anything that interferes with the master's will, including their own lives. Sacrificing their lives in order to ultimately save others. That doesn't make any sense. I cannot allow that to happen. Alright, get out of here! Boom. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba boom. <laughs> uh. Ba -da -da. Ah, shit. Lars, we need to get out of here! I can't leave them behind like this. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Ah! Let go of her! Time. Double. Lars! Don't worry. I am a paladin. I am a servant of Pero, the goddess of forgiveness and punishment. And her divine exec executor. Perish. Ah! Oh. Is he gonna get chopped in two? This is now chapter 25. Perish. Yeah, pretty sure you chopped through him. Ah. I can't believe I had to release the power of the divine exec. Executor. Executor. <laughs> Executor. Divine Executors of Pero. Seven outstanding paladins were bestowed with special powers by Pero, the goddess of forgiveness and punishment. Although there are severe drawbacks to using the power while it is in effect, the paladins are able to command enormous divine power. He came back to life. I thought it was done for. I it was done for. Forgiveness is a good. And punishment to the evil. That is the fundamental teaching by Pedro. Pedro the god is of forgiveness and punishment. Although once the power of the executor deactivates, I will be partially inflicted by the damages they have received. 
Such drawbacks are my consequences to bear. I'm glad you're all right. Let's get going then. That is pretty harsh punishment to pay to receive. How dare you interfere with the holy experiment, you monstrous little mage! That's funny. You are the one I created a monstrosity out of your own body. You wouldn't get it, would you? This is a work of art. Behold the masterpiece. Wings. A winged chimera. You got weird taste. What? What do you know about perfection? Aren't you forgetting something? Huh? The, the, that's the core part. Quite an interesting toy this is. <laughs> All I need to do is crush it. Like this. I've been wanting to play with it myself. Oh no, I'm so clumsy. I crushed it. <laughs> you dirty little scumbag. I apologize if that was your favorite toy, young man. I'll take you to a nice place for that. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I will send you to the to another world of warp spell. He thinks I wouldn't be able to nullify the portal, huh? This puny little fool is really getting on my nerves. I will shatter the portal to pieces. What's it? Yeah, you can't do that. Why didn't it? Why isn't it listening to me? You scum. You yes, scum. Uh, impossible. Why didn't the portal break? <laughs> Simple. You're too weak. <laughs> And I am just too strong. Now, shall we play? Please enjoy the scenery while you can. Because when this is over, you'll be in hell. You will be disintegrated and reassembled to be my ro loyal servant. Oh, yeah. You cocky bastard. Hm? Oh, close. I think the other battle should be over by now. Probably, but in our favor, given I dispatched two more of my best creations that way. Two more of your best creations. Not that, not that you will live to see what I mean. Shit, so there's another chimera on the way. They might have defeated one, somehow. But against two, they don't stand a chance. How late are you? Like, 28 minutes? Overconfidence, I see. Wrong. Just flat out confidence. I see. Six. No. Seven different creatures fused into that body of his. There's good chemistry between the pieces, too. I can no longer be called a human body. You will surely mutate. Lose control. Make a good underling. Oh. <laughs> uh, of course. Looks like we're here. Quick, we have to find the boy. I only have about 20 minutes until the power expires. We must find Ricky before the divine power of the executor the subsides. Hmm. What? Why? Watch out! A chimera that uses swordmanship techniques. Okay, that's that's bad. Oh no. Um, impossible. Lars, look over there. There's another chimera. Oh, so that th that is the strongest ones yet. The hybrid of a demon horse and an ogre. These are mixtures of bees that can individually handle a high level light. Uh, I don't send a chance. Bye, Ricky. Everyone. We take our chances. Give it our all. Ugh. He's gonna wake up like, what, what, where am I? Was there a sacrificial knife? Oh. 
Why is his eyes sliding up? Did it give him some kind of magic? Wait, wait, did he? He might have already have some poly power or something about it. Is that what that is? Is that what that is? Is that what that is? I don't know. Where am I? What is this place? Brother, anybody here? How come there's no one? Oh shit. Isn't this Shino? What have they done to you, Shino? Weren't you? Weren't we chosen by God? Is this what they meant by the calling? This reminds me a lot about Promised Neverland, like orphanage picking out one by one to get <laughs> a new family. Uh, that we were supposed to be used in some kind of an awful experiment. Uh, there is no time to grieve. I need to get out of here. Is it not locked? Wait, is she not gonna talk? She no. I am sorry. I promise I'll come back for you. Senate and the bishop, you won't get away with this. What's that noise? Maybe someone came to save me. It's coming from here. Although I am a bit scared. Maybe I should go the other way. <laughs> Maybe I should go the other way. See, there's lots of blood. Isn't it? Eh, probably the other way. Probably wrong way. It's coming to your right. Hang in there. Oh, the old sir. The old. Sir. My name is Lars! Can you stop calling me old? <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. Stop him from attacking Rick A. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess she is gonna die instead then. Rick A, quick! Get out of here! Damn it, we won't make it in time. My, my feet won't move. Ricky, time for some like hidden powers. Ricky! Did that do anything? Did that do anything? Lars! No! Ricky. Did I fail to save him? <laughs> <sighs> Sir? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he, he got some secret powers. Like, what kind, though? Looks like there's some kind of holy power. The danger isn't over. Come this way. Okay. I feel we don't have much time. We have to get out of here. I may have about 10 minutes until this power expires. Oh, perhaps less than that. I can't fight while protecting Ricky at the same time. Okay, I want you to head upstairs alone, but, but, uh, wait, I will only get in their way if I stay here. Okay. Sir, I will be waiting for you upstairs. Old sir, he's, he's like, yes, finally, he didn't call me old. It looks like I have a promise to keep. What's up, DJ? Time to end this. How was that light? I've been feeling nauseous since he came forth and saved me from the attack. Not to mention a weird aura I sense coming from the beast. The very same aura I felt when I was at Rabal. Something disturbing. Finally. There it is. There it is. Wait. Was it really all a lie? The salvation? The fate? I really hope Anna is alright. If any harm befell on her, I will destroy them. <laughs> what a. This disturbing feeling just got even greater. It's making me sick. Is it coming from over there?
Boom. <laughs> Ryuk. You remind me of a fly running away like that. But enough is enough. Die. <laughs> if I'm a fly, then what are you? <laughs> nice. Nice one. True that. True that. Enough is enough. Damn, we got some explosions. This one looks dangerous. I better avoid it at all costs. Good thing I prepared my own spells powerful enough to edge that. I'll be victorious if this continues. And then Ricky shows up and, and ruins your plan, right? You little vermin. Supporter Mel. Time to get serious. Why so serious? Die. Damn. We we got we got uh I can't remember the name, but like in Parasite the Max and like me mini no like his hand. Can't remember it. The alien on his arm took over his hand. <laughs> me six no. What the hell? Hiding like a coward again. Oof. Dark dimension. A barrier. He's trying to imprison me here. <laughs> Simple barrier. It's not enough to keep me contained. Damn it. Wait, he's stronger than you think? You're actually having problems here? Tentacular storm. Boom. Oh. Oh, intriguing. He's even combined the power of the Chimera with his magic. However, that's as far as you go. I'm amazed by your persistence. But how about this? This what? What's it? <laughs> how? Eh, have, have you never seen a teleport spell before? Impossible. I clearly, I clearly saw you standing over there. Yeah, teleportation. But... You are quite dull witted for a mad scientist. That's a clone. Oh, shadow clone. A rank four dark ma magic spell, double ganger. This spell creates a clone that uses the same abilities as the cast with one drawback. Either the clone or the caster disappears the moment they make I. Eye contact with each other. Wait, 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 So if you make eye contact with the clone, then the real one disappears. The reason for your defeat, or the opposite, is that you fail to realize how powerful of the adversary you are going up against. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's another level. Decaying body. Oh, what a... Just another simple spell. Your body will decompose slowly but surely. You think you can keep me at bay with this? Relax, I got another gift for you. Just join with the dude with two on his head. <laughs> eh, evil guy from Fate Senate. Sphere of amplification. Yes. What in the world? Planetary devastation. As his name suggests, this spell amplifies the pain the target suffers by three times. How does it feel to have your body deform against your will? Ugh. You scum. I guess it takes time for the decaying spell to start affecting your mouth. Gravity. Huh. Boom. Uh. Uh. Beep! Like, good job. You can take a break now. Beep. Ah, my creatures. A normal person would probably have had a cardiac arrest from all the pain by now. Those experiments with your body is what prolongs your suffering. Your bodily decomposition is too advanced for me to reanimate you into an undead, my servants. 
I'll have to consume your knowledge at least. Ah! Huh? Oh, damn it. Still had some chimeras left. Shit. <gasps> oh my god, it's a lesser main. I miscalculated. I spent too much mana in the previous fight. I'll make you suffer for what you did. Uh, it wouldn't have hurt so much if you died already. But you're still alive. Damn it, I didn't see this coming. How am I going to kill this fool now? I'm getting more nauseous as I get closer. But I'm getting the feeling that I really need to be there. <laughs> well, maybe I should just go back. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Whoa. Ugh. I have enough mana to cast a barrier. I won't be able to dodge the next one. Jamie. Why in the world is he? Jamie. Perish now. No, Jamie! Ricky? <laughs> what you... Ricky, what you doing here? Buddy. Ricky. What the hell? Ay 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 Jamie! No! Don't come this way! Sorry, my body moved on its own. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, my body moved on its own. You can still, like, run away, you know? Ay ay ay. No. Ricky! Ricky! Please. No. No. My future slave. No. Not again. Not again. Because of me. Because of me. Diablo. 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 You must survive at all costs. Everyone died. In order to save my life. This can't be. Pathetic creatures caring for each other. Quite a scene this is. But don't worry, you'll be joining him soon. Oh no, he won't. <laughs> Diablo. Diablo, don't you dare forget about me. Sir, Diablo, relay this message to everyone else in my place. Master Diablo, it was an honor to ever learn from you. Lord, please. Do not forsake us. We will stand by your side even if it means our death. Army of the dead. Unnatural causes. Boom. The war is running and feels different all of a sudden. Yeah, he's pissed. This feels dangerous. I better make short work of him. Ah, uh, too late for that now. Hang in there. I'll come back for you soon. How can I have forgotten about this? The very first ever special power I ever mastered. Oh, I seen the dead. Arise, my skeletons. Just who in the world are you? An army created of a natural cause to stand against the twelve gods. That is my power. Damn. I am a necromancer. Army of the dead. <laughs> you think you can base me with such low level undead? So you have no idea, huh? These are the very souls that have been put to death by your hands. Go. Go, my minions. Show me how great of a grudge you all hold. Show me how you feast on your enemies. Damn. <laughs> so trooper. Damn. Through my special powers, you will even transcend death. No. No way. Get away from me! Here, yeah, rip them apart. This is my field of expertise. 
on which the dead harvest death. It is also your grave where you lie. Nice job, minions. Hm. Finally. Huh? He puked up something. Is that a core? This is... A gem of a life? Wait. You're not gonna swallow that right after you spit it out, right? I'm gonna wash it first, at least. A magical artifact that grants the self healing power to its owner. No wonder this fool wouldn't die after all those attacks. I thought it was weird even if he was a mutant. Looks like I've hit a jackpot. Uh, you're not gonna swallow it right now. Though. Clean it first. Get some water. <laughs> this I can overcome the limitations of my current physical body. Huh? That's right. You may return to from whence you came. This won't be the last time I summon you. Oh. Oh, it's taking a toll on my body. The power of unnatural causes has too many drawbacks at the moment. I must stay focused. However, I got this one. <laughs> he's gonna swallow that one. I can't. Oh no, he's gonna give it to him. Of course. Let this idiot die like this. Maybe better off for you to become my loyal subordinates than die, Ricky. Oh, I thought it was gonna like give him the <laughs> pin. <laughs> no way. Is he gonna do that? Feel of this sinner, come forth. What the hell? I thought it was gonna give him, like, the orb! Nah, too valuable to give to random guy, I guess. Wait. What? Oh, he's alive? Ah! I don't get it. What's going on? He's healing himself? The goddess is doing something. Child, who are you? That you attempt to take what is rightfully mine. Pedro? Have we met before? Pedro. Ah, shit. Rightfully yours, my A. He's way too young for you. <sighs> I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> Tell me, Earl. No. Tell the Earl. Tell the Earl. Tell the Earl. I must tell Earl Welton what happened. How useless. May you give up, highs. Begin the process of ex executing the heretics. <sighs> Thank goodness we were able to dispatch the beast before I ran out of time. Although it hurts like crap. I'm just glad no one died on my watch. Lars! Are you alright? Did you guys forget about the one reason you got there? <laughs> Shake! Where's the boy? <laughs> huh. This. This. Has to be. Lord Pedro. I ask, have we met before? How did this fool get summoned? Even if this is only a vision, she must have to pay a heavy price for this. Can you not hear me? Answer me! Nope. I simply realized that the vicarial power surrounding Ricky was that of yours. You knew that and still try to turn what is mine to an undead. I didn't want him to die. <laughs> so you mean to tell me an undead is not dead? Yes. Damn! It is an act of defiling the dead. How can you not understand the preciousness of life? Give me a break! It is you foolish gods that treat any forms of life with utter contempt. You are the ones who sacrifice the entirety of mankind. What? No. I wasn't. What's with her reaction? Reaction. Anyhow. He is on his path to become my apostle. I will not allow you to turn him into an undead apostle. The apostle. The apostle are the closest ones to the god they serve. What the hell? 
Their very existence grants them similar status to that of the Pope. And why did he choose him and the power to crush all evil before them as the strongest paladin? The perfect cleric. I knew that fool was gifted with vicarial powers, but an apostle? No wonder Pero herself would come down to protect him. This is getting interesting. Even more interesting. I'm sorry to break it to you. What do you mean? He's dead. The, bro the dark aura has consumed half of his body. Ricky is already partially undead. How dare you! Do you even know the gravity of what you did? Damn it! I am. Such vicarial powers. If you wish to die that badly. That may not be a wise move on your hand. Like, can gods really kill humans without any consequences? Killing me would kill Ricky too. Okay, oh, that, okay, that's what you... You think you can talk your way out of this one? There can only be one apostle serving one guy at a time. And I heard it takes a long time to find a new one after one perishes. <laughs> Moreover, the existence of the apostle is absolutely vital for the divine to come down to earth without any conditions. Which means you're screwed. Am I wrong? Like I said, I have no intention of killing Ricky. He is a friend of mine, after all. Clever young boy. I will reward you for your puny attempts to save yourself this time. But why did you choose Ricky as your apostle anyways? There is no need for apostles in this world at this moment. This moment. We are in a peaceful era in which the wills of the twelve gods are being fulfilled left and right. It is a system the twelve gods came together to create, is it not? Just who are you and how much do you know about this? Oh, the most virtuous and compassionate of the twelve gods. You are a god that loves so much that you are even willing to convert the evil. By any chance, are you caught up in a power struggle? You insolent. Bingo, I smell a conflict between the gods. <laughs> She's remaining silent because she cannot go against her divine nature and spew out lights. Diablo Volpeter. How do you know of his name? I am the one that carries his will. There is no way. Volpeter, he surely perished. Uh, I'm running out of time. I offer an alliance. That is sketchy. If she goes against you now, she can basically just tell all the gods about you and... Well, over. You come to Afton if you wish to speak to me again. Af Af Boom. This is good. I'm making a significant ally in her. Wait. Jamie, are, are, are you alright? You're bleeding and your eyes are purple. What happened to you? Wait a minute. Why does my body feel weird? Eh, kind of half undead. You worry about someone else when your own body was about to perish. <laughs> That's very apostle, I guess. I'm white, nothing. You are an apostle of God and an undead at the same time. Did he just say that? So That's why. I turned you into an undead with the power of my dark magic. He will surely resent that now. I see! I see! Thanks! Thanks, Jimmy. That's all I have to say? Yeah, I mean, what else can I say? You you said only half undead, right? What's the What are the drawbacks to being half undead? Nothing, really. <laughs> yeah, I presume that all dark mages are bad, right? You are a nice dark mage. <laughs> I knowingly sent you this way to get to their hideout. I used you as bait. And even thought about getting rid of your sister. But you ended up saving my life and didn't kill on either. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> so you are a nice person. You fool. It's not that simple. Ah! My wounds are healing rap rapidly. Oh, it's him. I got the feeling I'll be able to do something like this. Yeah. And it works. The old sir. I mean, Lars is coming. I see. I must get going then. Don't mention that I was here. Yeah, yeah, I'm not that dumb, you know. See you later, Jamie. So he actually gained a real friend this time. <laughs> not a slave. That's new. Or of 
the Fate and Senate Heist Chapter. Sub Nadir, we are the arbiters that serve the order of this Fate in Senate. I apologize that we are unable to reveal our names given the missions we are assigned with. What are the arbi arbiters doing in my land? We have been chasing after heretics at the command of the order. We came across this thing. Concluded Bishop Lincoln was a heretic. Got his confession. And executed him forthwith. Preposterous. They're trying to cover this up. Yeah. We had to act quickly since it, uh, since it was a matter of high importance within the order. Do you honestly think we will trust what you say? Believe you. And I... I admire your courage in any case. How dare you commit murder within my estate! Boom! You all wish to die. There we go. There we go. Yeah, he ain't falling for it. <laughs> you think I will believe your lies? I didn't, I didn't like The fate of Senate is no more. Do you all wish to die by my hands? We, we were simply bringing punishment to the one that committed a grave offense within our order. Nope. I am the one that makes decisions within my land. How dare you kill someone without, me letting, without letting me question him first. No one else harms another person without my approval in ice. Your lordship, let me explain. Followers of Senate, you have crossed the boundary. We will all perish if I don't do something. Uh, yeah. But we have come way too far to just back down. If, if you would allow me, your lordship, maintaining the alliance with the Order of the Fate and Senate would benefit all of... Ah! Ah! <laughs> it will be the other hand next, followed by your head. If you do not wish to have your head detached from your body, leave Heist immediately. He is different from what the reports have said. Ruthlessly clever. He didn't even bring up the Chimera issue. He simply put emphasis on his rights as the, as the lord of his estate rather than theor theories that are difficult to prove. Just find his anger and the reason to kick them out. Nice. We have the upper hand. This can't be. My apologies, your lordship. I will have the order officially and properly compensate you for all this. Forgive us this once. Control of highs is key in expanding our influence to all of the eastern region. Please reconsider. I will not go back on my words. You have lost my trust. I will not allow the order of the fate in Senate in my land. Now leave. I see. So this is how Earl Welton rules his land. We leave. I'm almost starting to have pity on those despicable fools. Some time later. The Order of the Fate and Senate paid a huge sum of money as compensation and left from the area. What? What the heck is going on? And Ricky and Anna had to greet an unexpected visitor. Who's here, Ricky? Please allow me to formally introduce myself again. I am Lars Armitic. The divine executor, executor of our great peril. Lord Ricky will someday become the icon of the Order of the Fate in Pero as her apostle. Lady Anna will eventually realize her potential and become a saint. Then she will open her eyes and discern the world through divine lens. So, Pam, I, mean, I will have the honor of escorting the two of you to Apton. I will do anything in my ability to protect. Are you being serious? Will Anna, will my baby sister, she, re, she really open her eyes? Yes. Yes, Anna will certainly be able to see in the near future. Oh my goodness, Anna. You heard him, right? Yeah. The appearances of the apostle and the saint in the same era are the signs of the great tribulation, though. <laughs> Dear goddess. Regardless of how grave their tribulations may be, please give me the strength to protect these two from any harm. Slowpokes. 
That is how the two were taken under the wings of the Order of the Fate Imperial. And I, Jamie Welton, I mean, the Owl Peter, will be facing the greatest challenge yet in my life. The twelve gods are in disagreement with each other and have formed a number of cl cliques among themselves. Cliques. Which explains the reason for creating Chimera Paladins at the Order of Senate, despite the ethics. I have my reasons to believe that Pero is isolated, but that is only my presumption. Since I can't act on suspicions alone, I must travel to Apton to find out more. That is why I must do this. Come on, Diablo, you got this. <laughs> Does he have to, like, beg his mother or father? Yeah, come on. You, you gotta look cute. Um, mommy! Yeah, mommy! <laughs> mommy! Uh, Jamie? Mommy! Oh my, what's up, Jim? Like, obviously want something. I, I just love having a tea time with Mommy and Sarah. So much I had to express it. I love it too! No, he doesn't. You aren't usually too fond of tea times, though. Yeah. You you are certainly mistaken. I love tea time. Yeah, tea time's the best. She, she knew it the whole time. Is there something you want? Something Mommy can do for you? <laughs> uh... The calculations t tell me I must show a bit of reticence still. I... Brother is acting strange today. I know, right? I just feel very elated today, that's all. It's okay, Jamie. Mommy will do anything for you. You mean it? Of course I do. Okay. I want to visit Mommy's family in Apton. Apton? Why? I heard about this beautiful hill covered in cute large bubbles. Yeah. Cute large bubbles. <laughs> Cute large bubbles, I want to see bubble beam. Damn it. Hmm, I want to see just how much you love mommy all of a sudden for some reason. What? I'm sorry. If you cannot express your love for mommy, maybe mommy will be too sad to take you anywhere. Wait, wait, wait. I don't back down in front of any form of adversity. Yeah. Can't back down now because I am Diablo VP, the great dark mage. I will look cute. I love you so much, mommy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. Mommy will do anything for my beautiful little baby. Uh, I am the great dark mage. Diablo. Now that you mention it, I just remem remember something. Huh? What is it? We were already scheduled to travel to Apton next week, so clumsy of mommy to have forgotten about. <laughs> what a coincidence. Oh my god. The guy. Ah. Oh. Wow, I see. So we'll schedule already. Hooray, I am so excited. Yay. I can't believe I went through all that for nothing. I will kill you for all the humiliation after I'm done with you, Pero. Hey, Jamie. Where are you coming from? I just spoke with Mother and Sarah. What's with the long face, though? I have my reasons. Shut up, you filthy lackey of Pero. Hmm. I don't know what you may be going through, but I can tell you that all will be well. Shut up. <laughs> Probably gonna read most of the chapters at least, yeah. Should I get rid of him too? What brings you in today anyway? Oh, I had something to discuss with the Earl. With Father? Yes, I told him I must head back to Apton soon. There's something I've been wanting to tell you personally. What? Wait, did Pera reveal herself to him? Rick and Anna will be leaving with me to Apton. Oh, I see. Isn't that obvious, given they're the apostle and the saint and... Like I care! <laughs> Sometimes a goodbye does not mean a permanent farewell. Oh my god, let go of my shoulders before I rip off your arms and feed them to you. Huh? Rick and Anna will never forget about you, Jamie. Forget it. it may be years before you'll get to see each other again. But being apart from each other doesn't mean your friendship will die. I'm going to Apton next week, bro. <laughs> What the hell are you talking about? <gasps> oh my god. He's dead. Why are you extending the date of Blade of Evolution series so much? Because I'm doing new ones instead. That's pretty much it. But I'm I'm not deleting it because then I would have to do it again. I would have to make it again. That's why I'm extending it. I have faith that the friendship you two cherish will never cease to exist. So, don't be too disappointed and saddened by Ricky's departure. I'm sure you guys will meet each other again. If you're ever in need 
of someone to talk to. I'll be here for you. I mean, in the future, I probably will most likely read Blades of Evolution again, but I'm not entirely sure when I will do it because right now I'm just testing out new stuff and or mostly new stuff. Pero, you little. There's something about your idiotic subordinates. I guess I could do it soon, though. There's no reason I couldn't do it soon. I can schedule it for a while. Next Tuesday, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I could, I could probably do it soon. I'll think about it. It is a possibility that it will suddenly just pop up soon, Jay. I don't really understand father-in-law's intentions at all. Bring Jamie this time. To be fair, even my deceased mother wouldn't understand his intentions. <laughs> Maybe he just wants to see his grandson. Nah. Are you going to be alright? I mean, you must depart first thing tomorrow to make it in time. Why wouldn't I be alright? I got the most powerful knights to serve the Weltons to protect me. It is true, I have the utmost fate in my f fair knights, but I can't shake off the desire to escort you there personally. Who would dare to attack us? When Earl Welton is my husband. Ah. <laughs> Plus, Sir Lars will also be accompanying us. Alright, I was quite astounded to hear that he was a divine executor. Executor? They really leave the state of Apton, where the headquarter is located. Which means the Order of the Fate Impero must be considering this incident to be a dire issue. I'm worried about Jamie. He has achieved sublime magical prowess. To too premature for anyone his age. If he loses his temper like last time, I'm not sure if even the Grandmaster of the Fear Knights will be able to stop him. He should be okay. You want to know what he did today? <gasps> that was the cutest thing ever! I wish I was there to see it myself. Arrow makes mistakes every now and again. I believe in my son. I'm so glad to have met you, honey. That feeling is mutual. This is how it's supposed to be. Yeah! Flying at night. Took two full days to absorb the power within the gem because of the breakdown process. Oh, so it didn't swallow, it just absorbed it. It's worked much better than I expected. Great. Good job, Black. Beep! I'll be ranked 6 mage in no time at this place. Although my powers are still far behind my prime. I should know. Yeah. I should now be able to dispatch someone of that deranged scientist caliber easily. Master. We are at your command. I'll be heading to Apton. It may take some time given the distance. Apton? Isn't that all the way up in the northern region? It takes about two weeks just to get there. Does that mean we have to continue logging for another month? The disguise is longer. <laughs> Why? Do you object? No, no! Leave it to us. We'll be the best lumberjacks in the state by the time you come back. Very well. This time, however, you'll be coming with me. I remember something of mine that I had forgotten for a long time. What was this scary looking thing? You're going into the shadow! You're coming with me, but you can't exactly just sit on the carriage, you know. Master, what in the world? It is. My warehouse for the undead soldiers. You're going to go in there. In other words, your new home! <laughs> Our new home? I'll never be able to make myself comfortable at a creepy warehouse like this. No other undead servants of mine ever made any comments about anything. What the hell is wrong with these two? Shut your mouth and just go in. Uh, as, as you command, master. Duh. What have I conjured in them? I've never seen undead creatures with so much character and emotions before. They may prove to be more useful than I first anticipated. The inside of 
The warehouse is quite amazing. It's more spacious than I thought. We instantly felt this great power inside us while we were there. Yes, this is one of our special powers. Unnatural causes. Place is created entirely by my power. Undead creatures that reside inside a space absorb my powers that form the, the place and grow stronger. Doesn't that mean maintaining the place is too burdensome for you, Master? You have doubts about my powers. My apologies, Master, that's not what I meant. It's okay, just know I wouldn't even have showed it to you in the first place if it was burdensome. Can you just make us super powerful instantaneously without us having to stay there then? I know the place is more spacious than I thought, but it's still full of skeletons and bugs. <laughs> 300 push-ups. 300 sit-ups. 300 miles. What? Uh. Father? Father! Stop throwing me! He's treating me like a child. You are you are a child, though. You must take good care of your mother, sister, and friends, okay? I have faith in you, my boy. Uh, yeah, of course. This is so embarrassing. Good. Please be safe. I will. Have you been taught any swordsmanship? I should have. Sack. Obrai, grab master to fear, fear knights, fear knights. Is it, or is it fear knights? Is it fear knights reporting for duty? Maybe it's fear knights. Please allow me to briefly explain to you the schedule for our journey before we depart. Our Sir Lars was inside a carriage with us as well. He volunteered for the escort position, so so he's basically saying we will take the safest route, even though it may take a little longer. Oh my God, it's so boring. Or, where have you been, dude? I have been at work. <laughs> Although, I was back yesterday. I'm going back to work again on Friday. Sarah always falls asleep as soon as she gets in the carriage. It's so cute. Must be on our way. I'll be on the lookout in the reef. Thank you, Sir Lars. I mean, I've been... I, only, I was gone for like eight days. I was at work for eight days. Straight. Lots of overtime. <laughs> I wonder what Piero has in store for me. Judging by how nothing happened, even though I mentioned the name Diablo will appear. She most likely still hasn't informed other gods of my existence. Maybe because she couldn't. <laughs> Either way, lots will have changed by the time I come back. Oh, hey. Hello, Sarah. I'm Ricky. What, what? Is she scared of you? <gasps> what the hell did you do to Sarah? Calm down, JB! I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything! I just, I just, I just said my name was Ricky. We lose some of his brain cells when he became a zombie. No, he was always dumb. Okay, my bad. What is? What, 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 what is? Two days later. Hmm. Future are you going to read Immortal King? Most likely I will. Just got a bit annoyed that they freaking demonetized my first video of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just depends how well the video does, honestly. Right now I'm just testing out lots of different series on Billy Billy to show you guys and after I get pretty much done with <laughs> all of them, <laughs> I, will, I will continue on with some of them before that as well. Well, we'll see. You must all have been really tired. I might do Blaze of Evolution soon. And I might... Yeah, I might... Uh, may, maybe some. Some soon. How long was I asleep for? About two hours. You slept so well. Isn't it boring to stay inside a carriage all the time? I have a story to share if you'd like. There is a myth about the Maya, Maya Train mountains that we are passing through right now. I don't care about myths. Oh, I love hearing stories! What am I gonna read next? 
I mean, I might do one before Omnis Intruder tomorrow. I might, I might change. I will do Omnis Intruder as well tomorrow, but I might do one before it as well tomorrow. Maybe. If not, Omnis Intruder. Uh, Omnis Intruder is already scheduled for tomorrow. I'm glad you two are so fascinated by Legends. Anna loves hearing about Legends too. She's fast asleep though. Why don't you share the stories with her later then? This happened a long, long time ago. When the dragons were still soaring through the skies and the elves were sighted in the mountains. The Maitreyan mountains were... Oh, oh, the Maitreyan mountains were back then just a single large mountain. It was a peaceful time when two dragons appeared in the area. Dragons. So what do you think? How many series are you going to read for Trial 7 or more? What? What do you mean for Trial? What do you mean Trial? I don't get what you mean, Jay. Before I go back to work? Not, not 7, at least. The evil, the evil nature black dragon. And a good nature blue dragon called Mayatre. Maitre fell in love with a human mage. Dragons must not associate with lowly humans. The dragon clan was absolutely furious at the idea of a dragon falling in love with a human and sent a black dragon to kill the human mage. The battle was so fierce that the large mountain was divided into many mountains. And torrential waterways were created. After a long fight, Maitre and a human mage finally drove away the black dragon. But the mage... But the mage, blue dragon's lover, lost his life in the battle. It is said that Mayatre, the blue dragon, still resides somewhere deep in the mountains, mourning the loss of her lover to this day. I've heard that ever since then, it has been raining frequently in this area. Such a sad story. When did you wake up? Just because I have my eyes closed does not mean I'm sleeping! <laughs> I'm blind! <laughs> yeah, you know your legends well, Anna. You, know, you said you're trying new series, so how many are you going to read before going back to old series? I don't know. I don't know, Jay. Like, it's, it's just to up uh, the factor of views. I don't watch it. You, you do get less when you continue on with series, but like I will do it in the future if they do well enough. But yeah. That's for the future. That is why the box. It's called the heavy rain in this area. The dragon's tears. Legends. Except the story doesn't sound too far-fetched. Although dragons were always considered legendary creatures, even in the past. Lars, about that story. <sighs> it's okay, darling. It will be alright. Right, Jamie? Of course! It's just some lightning from a dragon! What? It's just heavy rain. It will pass. What is this feeling? What is this, I feel? Something ominous and disturbing. Boom. So bad blow. Ah! Anna, are you alright? Mother! Sarah! Jamie! Sarah, take your Sarah first! I will save both of you. Invisible wires. There you go. Boom. What in the world? What just happened? Oh. Jamie! It's okay, I can cast a flying spell. What the? I can't. This is a mana burn. Mana burn. An extremely high rank spell that renders mages vulnerable by completely draining them of mana. Who are you, dragon? Are you Diablo? A dragon. What? A dragon? I'm not... Ugh. Jamie! Let go of me. My little boy just fell in the water. My lady. I have to go save him. My lady, please calm down. I'm sorry, I just thought about being of assistance and suddenly... Ricky. M Mommy. Brother. Your ladyship. I understand your concerns, but Jamie will surely be alright, for Lars. It's not just an attempt to peace your ladyship. I am certain of Jamie's capabilities. It's true that Torrent is extremely dangerous, 
But as long as Jimmy recovers enough mana, he should be able to come back unscathed. And I will go down there to find him. Since I am the only other person that can survive such a strong current. Lars, that kind of current will surely put you in grave danger. Three hours. I will, ba I will be back in three hours, your ladyship. Even with the power of the Divine Ex Executor, it's still too dangerous. But I can't help but ask for your aid. Please, please come back here safely with my son, Jamie. I'll make sure to bring Jamie back. Uh, do, do we have time for this? Like, jump in the river after him. <laughs> he is far gone right now. Where am I? You get you got captured by a dragon, that's what. The hell is going on? Just who You are awake. Are you a dragon? Dragon. Do I look like a dragon? Do you see any horns? Oh no. Not that I no. <laughs> Can't you tell just by looking? <laughs> yeah. I instantly knew you were not a dragon. But there was something I could not quite comprehend. I can sense that she's even willing to kill me if she has to. How can a non-dragon being in being in human form harness such a powerful magical potential? And there's the form of mana you have. It's extremely similar to the way in which a dragon harness ma harnesses mana. My mana breeding technique is similar to that of a dragon. Human mana breeding techniques are garbage. They can't even dream of copying dragons due to their lack of intelligence and talent. Copy whom? And lack of what? They used to try to copy me! But you're different. Are you a half-elf? Wait, no. Even a high-elf cannot stand against the lowliest of dragons. What do you mean by all that? You're looking at me right now. Look at this, boy. You have the audacity to speak to me in such a manner while you are bound like that. That's my line. You mistook an innocent person like me for a dragon and had the audacity to kidnap me. Kidnap you? A sudden thunderstorm, lightning strike on a carriage, and last but not least, the mana burn. They were all unnatural occurrences. Well, I guess you could take it that way. I only wanted to see what kind of being you were, to be honest. Mother and Sarah almost died because of your... Why am I getting so worked up like this over that? Hmm. Why don't you at least tell me who you are? Fine. I wanna ask who you are. Because I already know. Can you at least release me from this? No. Why not? Because I'm enjoying what I see right now. What? Heh. <laughs> that facial expression is exactly what I'm talking about. What a sight. I see this mischievous nature can only mean one thing. You must be the blue dragon. My tray. Obviously. Or the daughter. The blue dragon is the most gentle species out of all dragons. They are especially amiable to humans, in the same way that humans are amiable to cats and dogs. I don't run into a red or black dragon who are infamous for their violent natures. Or a green dragon known for his devious qualities. He could have been bad. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to count myself lucky. Why did you kidnap me? You mistook me for a dragon. Obviously. To kill you. What's with the sudden rush of the dark aura? Then you could probably let me go now. No way. And the reason is, I am coming up with one right now. Is she actually serious? Using you as the ingredient, I could probably conjure up a spar toy of a master rank. Master rank? Give me a break, we'll be stronger than that. If I had someone like me as an ingredient, I too would have. What am I thinking? My life is on the line here. I should be coming up with a strategy. <laughs> uh, beautiful lady, why do you intend to kill a dragon anyway? Nice try, it's not your business. Is it because of the human mage that you once loved? Ah! Bring him up again. If you do not wish to walk out of this place safely. I knew it. The clan did not approve of him. And you betrayed them in order to spare his life. How... How dare you! You had no intention of killing me or turning me into Spartoid to begin with. You possessed a magical ability to control my mind easily, but you didn't. You are a kind person. Unlike other dragons, 
You are a kind person. Unlike other dragons. This is the final warning. There will, be, there will not be another. She means it. I better wash my mouth. Hmm. You piqued my curiosity like he used to. By he, you mean the great mage. Wait a minute. Was she in love with Diablo? Only existed in legends as you humans know it. Doesn't look like it will stop raining anytime soon. Jamie. Where are you? It was about 700 years ago. His name was gone on the Dark Mage. Oh no. Not him. The Dark Mage. It's funny, right? The dragon, the most powerful of all light mages, fell in love with the Dark Mage. Oh, well, yeah, Lil. So it was true. But he only chose dark magic as a tool through which he could uncover the hidden truth of this world. He was actually a kind hearted mage that achieved rank 9 as a human being. What? A rank 9 mage? Wait, the human race did not have a single rank 9 mage for a couple of millennia. I'm still talking. <laughs> I'm still talking. I'll tell you what really happened. Ganon had been searching for the hidden truth of this world even before I met him. We traveled to thousands of ruins together and we eventually fell in love with each other. We were happy. Until the dragon lord commanded other dragons to kill him. Gone on, your very existence defiles life. All dragons under his command sought to take his life. We ran away, but only for a little while. Go inside, Ganon. Not even dragons will be able to track you down here. Don't worry about me. They might punish me, but won't kill me. There was an ancient ruin that was sealed with magic so powerful that it only allowed one person inside at a time. He hid himself there. Maitre, you are exiled for a thousand years. A thousand years is not a very long period of time for us dragons. It's just that Maitre... Ganon, who came to rescue me after a decade or so, had already found out the hidden truth of this world. But he turned a blind eye. Yet you call yourself the lords of magic and the greatest of all creatures. He's out of his mind. The truth must be too much for a human being to bear. He rescued me. And we finally got away from the chasers and hid in the depths of his mountains. And then... Then Ganon died. I thought that maybe it was good it ended that way. I tried to think that he had finally found peace in his eternal sleep. But... The clans are wiping out every single trace of Ganon from history. Everything including the notes he had left and even the people he had met. The dragons wanted to keep this truth hidden from the rest of the world. Can this be? I am here because I want to protect what little things Ganon left. His legacy. Huh. So you're about to get a power up then. When you win her over. About to get a power up. <clears throat> I see. It's all the work of the dragons. No wonder there were no stories about me in the history books. The first thing I did after I realized that I was reincarnated was looking for the traces left by me, Diablo, old Peter. There is not a single record left alone, let alone hints. No fairy tales or nursery rhymes, even. It's too clean. As if somebody deliberately and intentionally wiped the history out. The twelve gods, no, the dragon lord Brahman and his dragon creatures. Erased me from the history books like they did to Ganon. Ganon, the legendary rank 9 mage that even learned how to use command dark magic in order to discover the hidden truth of the world. Just how much had he discovered that the dragons had to wipe out his story from the face of the world? Is there... Ganon's... Is Ganon's grave here? Why? I would like to pay ho homage to him, being a mage myself. Follow me. This way. This is where Ganon rests. He can't be. That is my bracelet. Shell of ab absolute immunity. 
One, two, three, divine magical artifacts. The other will appear created to aid in the battle against 12 gods. This item offers an absolute immuni immunity against all forms of diseases and curses. Just been sitting here the entire time. This explains why Ganon began, began to seek the hidden truth of the world. He obtained the brace, this bracelet, and then found out about the Alevul P and its creator. I would take it back, but I don't want to die! I'm here, Ganon. What's that bracelet? It was Ganon's. It had amazing power. He saved his life more than a few times when he was alive. Not a single particle of dust on that thing. So well taken care of with a cle cleaning spell and protection spell. Is that all Ganon had left? Why do you ask? Eh, nothing much. I just got curious if he had left any records since he discovered the hidden truth of the world. He did keep a journal. A journal, can I see it? I don't know if I like you enough to let you see it. Then why don't you tell me in your words? What you know about? The hidden truth. How dare you. Try to step on a realm that the humans that the humans should not thread on. I disagree. Ganon spent all his life researching the hidden truth. And although we can't say he succeeded in doing so, you at least saved his legacy. Don't you think Ganon would rather have his knowledge be put to practical use? Instead of just a channel through which peop channel through pe which people, if any, would remember him? Eh, no. You're a ch clever child, I'll give you that. However, you're wrong about one thing. We don't need a challenge or to pay homage to him. Because I remember. I, every little detail there is about him. Please do not forget me, Diablo. That is too much to comprehend for me at this point. Yeah, you're a child after all. Slow down a little. I will show you. Show it to you since you convinced me. But I'm not sure it will actually be of any practical use because you won't be able to open it. It has been sealed. Yeah, it's probably too strong for a human mage to break it. Why don't we head back? I'll send you back to where you came from. Hold on. Don't be surprised by what you see from now. Huh? Dark magic. <sighs> what is this dark aura? I haven't seen anything like it. Even Ganon's dark aura wasn't as ominous as this. <laughs> I got it. Boom. March 16th of the Imperial Year 22. I ran across a blue dragon. She said that I'm a, I am a detestable being. Because I am a dark mage. March 30th of the Imperial Year 22. I don't know how it happened, but we decided to travel together. My tree has the bubbly nature that makes every moment more memorable. I never imagined a dragon would be this fun time out with. April 26th of the Imperial Year 26. I reached a region that people thought only existed on the map. It is an area that no human has yet explored. I decided to call this place a land of demons. December 24th of the Imperial Year 23. The Dragon Lord designated me as the target to be eliminated by the Dragon Clan. I'm okay. I'm just worried about Myatre, who abandoned her clan because of me. I know I should be letting her go, but I simply cannot. Because I love her dearly. March 8 of the Imperial for 41. What kind of war have you been fighting? The date written on a mem memorial stone dates back to 65,966 years ago. May 1st of the Imperial Year 41. I settled in the mountains somewhere. I should be able to avoid the eyes of the Dragon Clan for a little while. I will be heading to this place called Garmon. In the northeast next. This was a place inscribed at the bottom of the stone. It is said to no longer exist. But there was to be something. But there has to be something. Ghana. Ghana. Oh my love. I think I remember which memorial stone Ghana is talking about. Is it yours? I, the little Peter, inscribed this message here. To remember the bitter past. And to send hope for the future generations before the final battle. I wrote that 65,966 years in prior to Ganon's discovery. And I was reborn 700 years later. Which means I was locked up for 66,666 years before the reincarnation. But where is Garmon anyways? 
I end my message by saying that I will surely be victorious. I do not remember inscribing the region Garmon. Maybe there was someone else that found the memorial stone before Ganon did. I'm impressed though. To have reached the hidden truth. With the help of a shell of absolute immunity alone. Although the hidden truth reveals how humans fell, sla fell slaves to the twelve gods some 60,000 ye 60, years ago. Don't be discouraged. I am here in this world again to bring demise to the twelve gods' reign. The human race will again be free and prosper. He said he loved me. Yeah. He never said something like that to me, didn't he? <laughs> he always acted like he didn't like it when I clung on to him. You said that you remember every detail about him. I think that means Ganon is still alive and has a place somewhere in your heart. Still breathing as long as you remember him. I did not expect to hear such words of decency from a little child like you. I am not a child, to be precise. I wish I could go back in time and spend time with him again. Everyone wishes that. Although I came way too far to go back in my case. Anyway. That dark aura of yours. Would you care to explain to me about it? Are you really just a dark mage? Just a dark mage? What's that supposed to mean? Be downgrading my title. I'm not a dark mage. Ugh. That dark aura of yours. It's just a simple dark magic spell. Give me a break. <laughs> you think I'd ever try using dark magic spells in order to break the seal? What? Do you know how to use dark magic? Are you out of your mind? I brought someone that knew how to cast dark magic here. You mean you kidnapped him? It was no more than just an agreement. I asked him to choose between follow me and death. And he willingly chose to follow me. Yeah. Yeah. Please spare my life. Please. We normally call something like that the act of threatening and kidnapping. But Ganon's journal did not react to anything, no matter what methods we used. Until it did to your weird dark aura today. Although I don't want to acknowledge it. That power is something that my love pursued all his life. I don't think I'll be able to get out of this with made-up stories, I'll be honest. Okay, I will tell you everything. I am a mage that shares Ganon's legacy. Everything gone on left is here in this place. How can you share his legacy when you have never even seen him? Of course I've never received anything from him directly. But I seek to walk the same path that gone on the walk in the past. He's lying. <laughs> in that sense, I can say I share his legacy. My tree. Then, you intend to pose the 12 gods too? Did, did he say he did? No, but I'm confident he felt that way. Now that I saw his journal. He despises the 12 gods and the dragons that agreed with him. If you seek to walk the same path as he, then it will lead to... You're right, my train. I intend to fight against the Twelve Gods. That is an impossible mission. I, too, despise the Twelve Gods and the Dragons as much as you. And I'm pretty sure you will be as powerful as a dragon in the near future. But, each of the Twelve Gods can withstand an entire clan of dragons. There are twelve of them. You should heed my advice and live the life of a normal human. Give it up. A long time ago. There was a man that went against the twelve gods by himself. He at one point had many companions. But all either betrayed him or died. That man finally lost in the battle against the twelve gods and was imprisoned for eternity. I will come back for you. Even if it means a lifetime of waiting. But he still never gave up hope. That is why I can't give up either. You... Including Ganon and those that lived tens of thousands of years ago. And me. And the future generations, even if I fail. Did. And will walk the same path. Until the twelve gods are finally slain. Follow me. I think. Ganon would allow it if it was you. Can I really have this? Take it before I change my mind. <laughs> Thanks, I'll take good care of it. It's great to have you on my wrist again, old friend. Yeah, I missed you too. 
When that day comes, I will be by your side to help you. You have my word. Thank you so much, my train. A promise made by dragon. This is great. Get out now. Wait. Okay. Until then. Boom. Yeah, gone on. Your dreams are still alive. I love how he said, I will tell you everything. And he told her nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the rain stopped. Oh, hey. Good to see you again. We're doing all the way out here. Yeah. Jamie. Let's go back. Shall we? Jamie! I knew you'd come back in one piece. Thank God you're safe, Jamie. Did you read regrets or instruction mail? It's fun series. I mean, maybe in the future, but like at the moment, I'm just staying clear of anything other than Webtoon and Bill Billy. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Lawrence. Your acts of kindness will not go unnoticed. I, I really didn't do anything, to be honest. Um, for real. I, I, I didn't do anything. He just. I even used the power of the divine. Executor, uh, executor, uh, executor. Kingdom of Seldom, the Nesman estate of Earl Pior. Pior. What the hell? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Catch that thing! Hurry! Block the path! Benna, you fool! I'm sorry, uh, the mouse ate the zombie powder. Make sure you don't get bit! Oh, zombie powder. My nose! Ah, I'm so sorry. Does that mean he's gonna turn into a zombie now? He bit his nose? Huh. Such a mess. So many guards turn in zombified. What a useless idiot. When is she ever gonna drop out? I almost puked just by looking at her the other day. Why does the director even allow her to stay in the school anyways? Well, thanks to idiots like her, we look more brilliant. That's so true. So mean. I could eat everything. Yo. You useless garbage. Why don't you be one? Why don't you be of use for once and go fetch all these ingredients? We have to do the experiments all over again, thanks to you, bum. It's all your fault, don't you think so? Yeah, okay. Did you see her face? She can't even speak properly. A lab mouse would be more useful than her. Why am I like this? Earl Pior's mansion. I'm honored to have such an exalted guest. I had my chief chef prepare the best dishes he can. Please enjoy and rest as much as you'd like. I'm oh, speechless. Brother, this smells wonderful. I I'm certain that this will be the best meal of my life. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Oh no, it's the least I can do for the daughter of the great Bell household. It's more than I could ever hope for. Oh, you honor me with your kind manner of speech, my lady. There's nothing interesting around here. Should I just go back? That way Ricky wouldn't bother me by asking me so many questions. Where are you going? Uh, can I come with you? Uh -huh. <laughs> beep, beep. What is it, Black? Okay, okay. You want to flap around in peace for the first time in a long time? I, I get it. Flap around then. <laughs> Did you see that? A bracelet. Yeah, it's a magical artifact. Looks expensive. Something a kid that young should not be playing around with. Maybe it's a noble. His parents probably just bought him an expensive gift without knowing. Don't you think the director would love to have an artifact like that? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll be compensated for the efforts. Oh my god, the wrong person to steal from. Okay then, let's go. Beep beep. Huh? Oh, you, you got some teeth behind me? Oh, that. Oh yeah, oh that. They. Them. Yeah, I know. Two idiots are following me. Beep. What I'm going to do? Hmm. I actually don't know. I was bored, anyways. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they find. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Lars. I don't know what Jamie would have done without you. He would have found his way fine on his own without me. Yeah, I would have done anything. Uh, I was useless. I was absolutely useless. Absolutely freaking useless. We are on chapter 36. Stop DJ. What the? I thought he went this way. Should we lose him? This looks like the perfect spot. 
Oh wait, I found traces of him. This kid is done for. All right, all right. Shall I see what they're made of? I... What the hell? Is he being, is he being grabbed by someone? I'm sorry. Huh? Damn it, he got away. What the hell? Did he get kidnapped? Ah! How dare you meddle in my affairs? Time to meet your end. What? What? Please hear me out. Huh? Why should I? Uh... Dark magic. Uh, looks like you are a user of dark magic. You better have explanations as to why you attacked me all of a sudden. So mean. What? You are so mean! I was simply trying to help! I only stepped in because I thought you were going to get kidnapped by those dark mages. Wait a minute. Those goons are dark mages too? Why would you attack me like this when I was the one that saved you? Was it so wrong to try to save someone's life? Why is everyone against me? I didn't even do anything. I just don't want people to hate me. That's all. To <laughs> uh, someone. Why? Why is everyone doing this to me? Why? Okay, shut up already. The world is so unfair and dirty. I'd rather take my own life. It's probably better this way. Didn't you hear me? Enough with that. Wait, is that is that a rope? <laughs> <laughs> How did she get that so fast? <laughs> there was, was nothing here, just like, yeah, I'm just hanging myself. <laughs> did she use magic? Oh, yeah, right. Magic, duh. Okay, so to sum it up, you are in the same school as those fools and you, kid and you kidnapped. I mean, try to save me from them. By using the war portal that you stole from your school. Yeah, had they succeeded, it wouldn't simply have ended with your death. I couldn't let them conduct terrible human experiments on a young child like you. Although I'm not sure if you are even a child anymore. I'm not a child. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> you were a dark mage too, which means you most likely contributed in part to that so-called terrible human experiments. And you have the last to act innocent and righteous, just because you attempted to save one person. No, no, I, I didn't become a dark mage because I wanted to. Excuses, let's be real here. You're just as atrocious as the others. No, I'm not like them. I really never wanted to do any harm to living creatures. Do you even know how much I dreaded it? Every time I had to take away the life of those creatures, I felt like the sense of humanity deep inside my heart was being destroyed little by little. Okay, okay, I, I heard enough. Although I can't say I wanted to hear that. Okay then, I'll be on my way. What? What the? Oh, alright. It's a wall. Invisible wall. I still have a lot of questions for you. You better not enlighten me. Uh, please have mercy! Mercy! Tom, Pitt, have you just seen Benna anywhere? Benna? Can't say I have. Hmm, where could she have gone? Director Gab. And the completion of the project is not too far away. I, I refuse! You're being loyal to scoundrels like them. You have no idea. I know they've been terrible to me, but I still spent 10 years together with them. You leave me with no choice. I'll have to use the method I like the best. Dark. Dark mana. There's just no way. How can that even be possible? I can't detect any disturbing vibes, nor the evil intent. Usually associated with dark magic. How can dark mana be so beautiful? Feel so pure and uncontaminated like this. Last chance for you to change your mind. Once I enter your brain, there may be no turning back. How did you create such a unique dark mana like that? What? I want to learn how! What is the meaning of this? I won't go easy on it just because you butter me up. If you don't like the idea of me exploring your brain, just tell me. Please be my teacher. Yeah, please be my teacher. Teach me! What? Please teach me. No way. <laughs> please! Oh my gosh, he jumped him. What's up, Lester? What the heck are you doing? Please! I lost my parents 10 years ago. I was forced to become a dark mage. I was terrified of the experiments that took away the lives of the living creatures. Benites are useless. 
She's so slow. And my colleagues mocked me and trampled on me for being soft. I still couldn't muster up the courage to run away. But I still couldn't. I know I'm a coward and a hypocrite. This is chapter 36. 36? But I really can't keep doing this anymore. Really. I can't go on anymore. So what? That's not my problem. <laughs> what does that have to do with me with, with me becoming your teacher? Your dark mana. It's beautiful. That dark mana is not the result of sacrificing countless lives. I need power like that. Not the result of sacrificing countless lives. Huh? I guess she didn't know that an extremely pure form of darkness does exist. You are wrong. And more than anything, I don't want to. Please, teach me, please. Teacher, eh? Master, over here. I'll go first. I cre I'll go first. I created a new spell. We'll join the battle on your side. Teacher, please, teacher. Please just die. According to Benno's memory, there are about 20 people affiliated with the school. And the director... Gav's specialty is... Curse. Okay. Should I find out? I mean, curse, that doesn't work on you because of the bracelet now. And it probably didn't work any wouldn't work anyway, but yeah. How much the human race has achieved while I was gone? Oh, you abandoned me too. Everyone's abandoning me. Poor, poor me. <laughs> Spare my life. Please spare. This is an unusual one. They normally ask to be put down. Maybe the curse of reverse will affect the language part of the cerebrum too. What the? Are we really out of ingredients? Well, we did perform a lot of experiment, experiments lately. I heard we'll be getting a good amount of new materials to work with soon. That sounds fantastic. Can't wait for it. The acid to practice dark magic inside of acad academia, huh? You must make the best subjects for experiments. I mean, the speed at which results come out and the quality are incomparable. Shut up. You just work with human parts for the fun of it. No, I don't. I knew all along. This is where the dark magic of this era is situated. I do. I had to sacrifice numerous lives in order to oppose the 12 gods in the past. Perhaps I am in no position to criticize what they're doing. However,. There was a purpose for which I created this dark magic. It was to destroy the gods. Regardless of the cost. I forsook my humanity and bore all the sins associated on my shoulders. One must be absolutely determined to face anything before sacrificing a life. This leaves me with no choice. Beep. The seeds I had sowed grew and bore horrendous fruit. What do you think I'll have to do to rectify that? Hmm, I'll have to harvest it myself. <laughs> I have to get all the powers myself. Where could he have disappeared to? I must find him quickly and get him to safety. Ah! Where the hell have you been, you trash? Ah! Hila, hila. Slow and useless as always, like the garbage you are. So did you do what I told you to do? N no, I'm sorry, I forgot about it. Huh? You forgot about it? You must have grown quite comfortable, huh, Bena? Yeah. <sighs> that you decided to show disrespect now. Why? Just why are you doing this to me? I must put useless garbage like you in your place. So that you wouldn't dare to talk back or disobey me. Please, please don't. I am sorry, Hila. Accept the punishment as the consequences of your wrongdoings. Pain amplification. I'm sorry, please have mercy. It will never happen again. Please. Who the, who the hell are you? How did you even get in here? Boom. Yeah. Benna. Are you really that terrified of this loser? But, but I, I... Awaken. How long do you plan to stay imbecile like that? I... I... I don't know or care who you are, but you must be out of your damn mind. You know what, Benna? After I take care of this intruder, I'll kill you too for bringing in us, bringing in an outsider. Benna, time to make a decision. I die. 
I do not want to be someone befit for a terrible place like this. There, something happens. That is. I want to change. I no longer wish to live this way. What? Did you just do? Wait, huh? Unsure what kind of tricks you pulled just now. But you'll pay for that stupid decision to stand against me. I mean, she would have been dead if she didn't. But yeah, I guess. Good job, Anna. You just took a step forward. What's it? It's always the first step that is the hardest. The next one shouldn't be too difficult. Kill her. Hold on a sec. Who the hell are you? And what's with the spooky mono you have around you? <laughs> Erasure. He just erased her from existence, right? Finally, Benna has awakened the power of the Valkyrie. I was starting to have doubts about whether or not she will ever awaken the power. Perhaps due to the environment I created in order to control her tenacious nature. This stupid place will no longer be necessary now. I will have the power of the Valkyrie under my spell. Eh, yeah, not anymore. You see... He got stolen. <laughs> Benna. I... I am so sorry. Uh, what do you say? What kind of a Valkyrie gets terrified that easily? The Valkyrie. A tribe of notable fairies, also known as the Bellicose fairies. They once had the power and the valor to even wage war against the Twelve Gods themselves. Although we lost the fight, it is said that their remnants hid themselves in remote places that the sites of the Twelve Gods could not reach. Read my stepmother friend, Mama Solzum. <laughs> That does not sound like a wholesome mama of Devil Queen. <laughs> it's probably the work of this moron named Gab. But why are you giving me that look? Did I do something wrong again? He had put her under tremendous pressure in order to subdue her tenacity. The Valkyrie are aggressive and fearless by nature. He must have thought it may be difficult to tame her due to such tendencies. I don't like it one bit. Whatever it is. Whatever. That made you uncomfortable. I'm sorry. The siren. You must have found out about you, sir. Just call me Jamie. And it's not me they're coming at you. Huh? Everyone, I order you to bring me Benna. I will allow minor injuries if she resists. The, the director, but why? I know it. This way. I heard something f coming from there. Okay. What are you going to do now? I... I'm not the same Benna anymore. That's the spirit. Oh, let's kill some children. What? What? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> what did I tell you? The next step shouldn't be as difficult. Can you stop with the apologies already? I'm sorry. I mean, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, better, I guess. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> not really. But not, not really. Banna! How dare you oppose us. Come over here at once. Banna. Ben. They're all brainwashed. Brainwashed? Duh. None of them are acting on their own. Of their own free will. They probably have been slaves of the director without mi minds of their own for quite some time now. That, that means. Yeah, everything they did to you thus far was him. Was all the director is doing. Curse of paralysis. Curse of headache. Curse of retching. Curse of sneezing. Curse of reflection. Oh. Pull yourself together. But this is too infuriating. Can't believe I've been enduring all those atrocities. Her innate nature is starting to show itself. It is. If that's the case. Why don't you go and pay them back? Hold on. I don't even know how to fight. Boom. What the hell? I dodged it. Curse of toothache. Toothache? Ow. No, no toothache. The carry is back this. Don't do this to me. Huh? 
But no, that is the power you possess. Have more faith in yourself. So you think you have a little more power than some of us. Too bad you're too dumb to know how to use it, Benna. Curse of blindness. My body's reacting on his own. What are you doing? Stop her! How does she... As if someone else is controlling... It. That takes care of them. What are you going to do now? You must have realized by now that you don't stand a chance. Please don't tell me there are only weaklings like them here. Mike. <laughs> oh my god. Whatever, I decided to reap the harvest anyways. Black. Beep. Did you mark every one of these weaklings? Beep. Time to reap them. Violet spikes. Uh, oh my, what a mess you created here. It's a shame all my children perished like that. Nice to meet you. I am Gab, the owner and master of this facility. I take it that you are not in your true form, judged by your power, unless you were inflicted with a certain condition. It's Snyder. Oh, I see. So that's the character you're playing right now. Character I'm playing. You seem to possess incredible power, so I would like to make an offer. What exactly can you do for me? You see, there is a plan I've been working on. Should it come to fruition, we could easily rule over an entire kingdom. Oh yeah? How do you propose to do so? <laughs> How do you propose to do so? So interested. Please be patient. You haven't even told me of your decision yet. This fool expects me to side with him with just a single kingdom? I refuse. <laughs> That's a shame. The Director! Why did you tell these guys to bring me to you? Oh, marvelous. Splendid indeed. I can sense tremendous vitality from within your body. Dr. Gap, you asked me why. So I'll answer your question. To harvest the power you've awakened, of course. Do you have any idea how much I pondered after I finally got a hold of you? I had to devise ways to completely subdue your tenacious nature. I make you awaken the power in the form that benefits me the most. I even created this facility just for you. Every time I was bullied and made fun of, I was grateful that you were always there to comfort me. However, now I think about it, you never stopped them from bullying me. You were losing yourself little by little out of fear here. I can't describe how elated I was. Oh, I see now. All I have left to do now is bring to life the dark aura that you have been imbued with for over 10 years. What's it? Uh, boom. I knew it. Sorry to break it to you, but I just got rid of all the dark aura imbued within her body just now. Nonsense. There's no way you could have done it that easily. You're wrong. It's actually a piece of cake. Oh wait, perhaps not for any inc incompetent fool like you. From what I hear, you happen to be a worthless piece of garbage that can never become a rank 7 mage. No matter how hard you try. How dare you! I'm playing the role of a child, and you are playing the role of a worthless garbage! Suck it, old man! How does it feel to get beaten by a toddler? Maybe not a toddler. I'm older than a toddler. I think that back. Phrase rank 7 has long been a taboo for the Dark Mage, Gab. Gab disposed of anyone that dared to put the phrase on their lips in the most brutal way possible. Even though Gab achieved unparalleled renown in the School of Curse, hence his nickname the Master of Curses, he ultimately failed to become the rank 7 mage he had long desired. Yours, you scum! I will make you struggle in deep despair. And regret your choices for a long eternity. Blazing serpent. Yeah, that's gonna work. Huh. Director. The new medicines are on point always. Damn. I'll provide you with new materials to experiment. Some hallucinogenics? I look forward to working with you again. Intriguing. Hmm. Aren't you a tough guy? Your brain would have been fried otherwise. There's a reason they call me the Master of Curses. But don't let your guard down. 
<laughs> Interesting. Fascinating. Me, of all people, inflicted by mind, affecting spells. More than anything else. As you wish. Very good. I see, so he's skillful enough to directly involve himself in the mental realm. Quite impressive. It's too late, however. Curse of Dark Projectiles. This should suffice. Ugh. Curse Reflection. It's quite a high level dark magic spell. Look at you. But understand it. It's a mental realm created by your own mind. Which means you'll be able to get out of it sooner or later. That is why I intend to make your mind collapse entirely before that happens. Eh, could have, but that's probably not him. Aesthetics of stillness. You will enter a state of eternal stillness in the fraction of a second. What would happen if one second was divided into tens of a second, further into hundreds and thousands of a second? How would a human being react to that? One would enter a state of cognitive dissonance and stand still in that one moment that does not seem to end. It only lasts one second in real life, but can we stand what feels like an eternity in your mind? This is the ultimate curse, no other than I, Master of Curses, created. With this powerful spell, the wall that separates me from rank 7 should. Show what? Yeah, show what? <laughs> should do what? What? How? Does that even matter? Detonation. Ah! I hope your endurance is as tough as your mind, old man. How? How did he break my curse? Are you ready? Magic arrow. Boulder breaker. Boulder bridge. Chain whiplash. Spark bomb. I guess he done. I guess he done for. How did you? Break the aesthetics of stillness. Thanks to this little artifact right here, it doesn't work on me. Not one bit, actually. It's called the Shell of Absolute Immunity. Absolute Immunity. There can be no such thing. The world is unfair, you know. <laughs> Damn it. I want it. Become the king of this world. Shut up. Ugh. How dare you? Think so small! <laughs> Even think about dying a peaceful death. Door to natural causes. You've committed a grave crime out of tremendous greed. I will harvest its fruits as I'm the one that sowed the seeds in the first place. You will become a being that is neither dead nor alive. You will continuously die little by little. Yet fail to ever die completely, serving me faithfully for all eternity. Of my soul, you will be my humble servant forever. No, no, please just kill me now. Let me rest in peace. You shall now be called Neblo. That is your new identity. No! Oh well. Huh? The director. Nice that. Let me here introduce yourself to your master, my servant. It is an honor to see you, O oh great one. I am called Neblo. I am the first li lich you have reanimated. What do you think? I think it's a fitting end to someone I've made you go through a living hell for the past ten years. I'm not sure what I think about that. What are you going to do now? I can only think of one thing. Please be my teacher. No. <laughs> like, no. Uh, why not? Because you are a Valkyrie. The Valkyrie were a tribe of fairies that had existed a long, long time ago. They were extremely fearless and intrepid by nature. And fought valiantly in order to prove they were right. Nonetheless, they eventually lost the fight and were wiped from the face of the world. I don't know how their bloodline did not cease to exist altogether. But you are probably the last remaining Valkyrie out there. What does that have to do with you declining to be my teacher? Let me explain. The Valkyrie have no affinity for magic whatsoever. 
There is no point of me trying to teach you. Huh? That's not true, is it? I mean, you already have magic, but it's Valkyrie magic, right? Really? Really? No, nothing? No. Wow. So adorable. I've never seen a pink squirrel. Oh, really? I want to pet it so bad. I mean, is that her? Why, did, why would she turn into a pink squirrel to join him, though? Master, you were lucky you knew how to cast transformation spells, at least. I would not have brought you with me otherwise. So cute. Oh, my. Why is it so fat? Master, save me. They they overfed me. They overfeed me. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. They gave me too much. What a beautiful day it is. What a beautiful day. Master! Master! <laughs> uh. So yeah, we are, we are also streaming Descended from Divinity in like 49 minutes or so. Just, just saying. <clears throat> and it's gonna be a while until we react to this again. <laughs> As you guys know how to do it. But yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Like the videos with your black algorithm. Most probably notifications. Put all my notifications on. So you know when I'm streaming. Join the Discord description down below. In case you don't get notifications. <laughs> on YouTube. You'll get them on Discord. Same channel. Twitch is also in the description. Also don't, also, don't forget to like the video once it's done. That also helps the algorithm. But until next time, which is not that long until now. <laughs> Under an hour. <laughs> Hopefully see you then. Bye-bye.